Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. Going back to Friday, Netflix has put in an insane uh, move. I do got the daily chart pulled up here. We can see that uh, going back to August the 19th, we put in this massive green candle on Netflix, sort of just taking out this last month, month and a half worth of price action. You can see Netflix really wasn't doing anything under all of the moving averages that matter to me, which is the 10, the 5, the 20 day moving averages, we would come up to the 10 and the 20, get rejected, push back down to the 50, uh, you know, reclaim that, make another push up, get rejected. And then we just, you know, going to August the 19th, just confirmed all of this price action here, uh, put that to the wayside, and then just put in this massive green candle here. You know, anytime that we get this big of a green candle is always very, very strong. It's going to send. Uh, you know, bull bullish signals and bullish waves to the right of that. Even if we do decide to take a dip into rising support here, we know that the uptrend is good. Very, very bullish. So uh, Friday also had another push higher. And then today just back tested this support off of the upper Bollinger Band here, made another push higher. Currently trading at $553, uh, up $6 and 1% on the day. So what I'm really, really looking forward to going into this week is two things. Uh, first thing is, can we take out this top channel here? This top channel is going back all the way to July 15th. This price is going to be about $557. So we're currently five points away. I want to see what we do uh, when Netflix gets to this high here. Okay, so that's this white trend line here. Obviously, we're going to be running into a little bit of supply here at the upper linear regression uh, channel 50 line, 559. So if you're looking for a trade on Netflix, I would say any dip into rising support is going to be a buy okay so we don't necessarily want to chase the candle up this high we want it to back test a little bit of the support and see if it's going to hold up the support levels that i want to see hold up here is going to be the 10 and the 20 day moving average that price of 548 dollars is an area that i want to see netflix continue to hold if netflix does not hold this level the absolute last area where I'm going to try to bounce Netflix to the long side is going to be $538, which is the rising 50 day uh, support here on the one hour time frame. Now, I'm speaking from a short term day trading, scalping, and swing traders perspective. I'm not talking about long term. I'm not talking about what the stock is going to do in a month, six months, a year, two years from now. I'm talking about what is the stock going to do in a week from now? What is the stock going to do in two weeks from now? Uh, these are some of the areas that I really want to take advantage of on Netflix just due to the fact that we had these one, boom, 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 three candles straight up, and now we're sort of consolidating uh, sideways very, very nicely. Even though uh, since this high price here of 548, we, we are up about another five points. We are just kind of consolidating nicely here. So I want to see, do we get this next pop over 555? Uh, take us to upper supply at about 557 potential move for uh, you know a scalp or you know a short-term day trade there but for me I got this on my watch list I really want to see it come back and back test support at around five hundred and forty eight dollars or you know this 537 if we can come back down here these are going to be the areas for me where i want to scoop and score these for a potential swing trade higher if the nasdaq 100 continues to rally and it continues to uh, put this next leg higher going into the fourth quarter going into the end of summer into the fall time definitely you're going to want to be involved in these uh, you know, these high beta stocks, these stocks that can really move. Um, you know, I know there's a lot of other stocks that are up, you know, 50%, 100%, 30%, but they're only moving a dollar, two dollars or whatever. I trade these stocks that move in dollars. So, you know, for example, today I traded Tesla. That's up 29 points. Did I catch 29 points? Of course not. But the point is that, you know, when something moves two, three, four, five, six points in a day, 20 points, 30 points in a day, you can really, you know, uh, make a living off of, off of trading these high beta stocks that move. If you don't have, uh, an account that can afford to, you know, buy 50 shares, a hundred shares of these big, uh, stocks, you know, learn the option side options is a different game. You want to go close to in the money as possible. You want to use absolute good risk management when you are playing options, because 
if it doesn't hit your strike price and the price comes back down, uh, your options, you know, and your premium can go to zero. It does not have to. Just because you play options doesn't mean that if it doesn't hit your strike price, you lose 100% of your investment. You know, you just have to have really good risk management and know when to cut a losing trade and move on and look for another setup. Uh, but with that being said, Netflix is definitely going to be a stock that's going to be on my watch list. If you guys are looking for a strategy, looking, uh, you know, f- for a way to trade uh, and use good risk management, learn how to play stocks on bounces and on breakouts. I do have a course. It's over 23, 24 videos over about an hour, two hours worth of content that is in the description box below, as well as I do have a free discord where you can kind of join the community, talk with other traders and kind of see what everyone else is trading. That link is also in the description box below. But if you did make it to the end of this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, drop me a comment. Let me know that you stayed to the end of this video. Um, And I will see you guys all on the next one.